Welcome to Bible in the Park. Here we are in Bryant Park, New York City, just outside the main branch of the New York Public Library. In Exodus chapter 31, we have a continuation of the construction of the tabernacle and a description of the laws of Shabbat, of the Sabbath. And in many ways, the language that's used in the text kind of brings us back to the beginning of creation in Genesis 1. And I wonder what you have to say about kind of what we have here is a construction of sacred space, whereas at the beginning of Genesis, we talk about the construction of sacred time. What's the relationship of these concepts in biblical text? So the brilliance of the Bible in this chapter is it introduces a second element of the Sabbath. And that is we usually think of the Sabbath as being um, an identification of time. It's the seventh day. But obviously the Bible is also an identification of the special space, the space that's created by the Sabbath. That's why the Bible here starts emphasizing those things that you are allowed and not allowed to do on the Sabbath because it creates a special space that is Sabbath. And in our modern observance in all different manifestations of Sabbath, how can we embody that space? I think in many ways, the sacred space is even more, um, more interesting to us than the sacred time. Sacred time means that there's every seventh day. But in the world which is so complicated today and which has so many electronic devices, to be able to say we're going to put all those away and that our space is going to be sacred is really something very, very special. Mm -hmm.